Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we would like to welcome you scholars to the Pre-College Exposure Academy. Uh, we are excited to have you here today. Today, we're gonna to give you an opportunity to meet the staff and the mentors that you'll be working with and give you an overview of the program and what we expect from you all during the duration. The Michigan Health Science Summer Institute is a cornerstone of the Leaders and Learners Pathway Program that aims to prepare high school and undergraduate students as well as recent college graduates to become leaders in the health sciences field. And the Michigan Health Sciences um, Pre-College Exposure Academy is a part of that umbrella. And what that is, it's a six week entry level academic enrichment program that brings together highly motivated rising 11th and 12th grade high school students like yourself to gain exposure to health professions and the tools essential for a successful career and future health science fields. So this is the staff, um, Dr. Pryor, Dr. Lucas, myself, Sierra, Lexis, and Robert, we are going to be your staff this summer. Um, and we'll start by giving you some background about all of us um, as you'll be connected with us this summer and then your mentors as well. Dr. Pryor, um, she is the senior project manager of the program. And she's also a part of OHE, which is the Office of Health Equity and Inclusion here at University of Michigan. Um, she is focused on the needs of underrepresented students um, from both diverse and ethnic, ethnic minority populations and disenfranchised individuals. She also oversees programs hosted by the Michigan Health Sciences Summer Institute, such as SPEA, which you are a part of, and recruitment activities that continue to build the pipeline to diversify the future generation of healthcare professionals. Dr. Lucas, who is the director of the program, and I believe you all have met him uh, previously uh, before, but he is the um, director of SPIA. He serves as the student affairs program manager for the pre-college and undergraduate research programs at OHE here at the University of Michigan. And his main role um, is to develop and implement the Mission Health Sciences Summer Institute for Learners Pathway. Hey, I'll introduce myself. My name is Lexis DeShazer Burnett. I'm one of the program coordinators this summer. This is my second summer in this role, so I'm excited to do this again. Um, I graduated recently from North Carolina a t State University with a bachelor's in biology. Um, I have previous work with pre-college students to the National Society of Black Engineers as well. And I'm also an incoming medical student at the University of Michigan. And I'm really excited to meet all of you this summer. Hey, everybody. My name is Rob. I'm from Chicago. Um, I graduated from University of Michigan back in 2020. I will be here in the fall for a master's in physiology. Um, you know, I'm one of the program coordinators as well. Um, I love research, biking, making music, spending time with my friends, going outside. If you have any questions, concerns, you know, feel free to, you know, reach out to me. I'm here to help. And again, I am Sierra Nance. I am also one of the program coordinators this year, so you'll be hearing a lot from me. I am a current PhD candidate in the Molecular and Integrative Physiology Department at the University of Michigan, starting my fifth year. Um, I graduated with a Bachelor's of Chemistry from Winston-Salem State University back in 2015. Um, and I have probably spent most of my graduate career mentoring and tutoring undergraduate students as well as first year graduate students. And I currently serve as co-founder and executive director of HBCU DAP, which is a nonprofit that assists HBCU students primarily on their transition to graduate school, specifically in science, technology, engineering, and math. And um, of course, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to email me or contact me um, and we'll get everything squared away for you. Hello everyone. My name is Alondra Perez Cortez or Alondra Perez Cortez. Um, I grew up in Long Beach, California in the LA area. I graduated from California State University, Long Beach in 2020 with a degree in psychology. Um, I'm currently a second year neuroscience PhD student. Um, I'm very excited to 
work with you all in this program this summer. I've done something similar at my undergrad institution with the local uh, K through 12. And so I'm excited to do this again at Michigan. Uh, other interests of mine include cooking and baking, uh, foraging and mushroom hunting. And you can actually see that um, mushroom, one of the mushroom pictures I've taken uh, on my slide. Um, I like to sing at karaoke and I have two baby cats, Simon and Charlie. See you this summer. Hi everyone, my name is Miriam. I was born and raised in Dearborn, Michigan. Currently, I am a rising junior at Harvard University, majoring in neuroscience and minoring in global health. My interests in medicine lie in neurosurgery as well as emergency medicine and refugee health aid. Um, some of the extracurriculars that I have on campus include volunteering at Mass General and tutoring in the citizenship tutoring program at the Institute of Politics, and also find me engaged with the Arab community on campus. I'm so excited to be mentoring you all this year. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Nathaniel Villa. Um, I'm originally from LA and I graduated from UC Santa Cruz in 2019. Um, I studied biochemistry and after I graduated, I wasn't sure um, what I wanted to do exactly. Um, so I ended up doing a post back at the University of Washington. Um, and then now I'm currently a graduate student at the University of Michigan um, studying biological chemistry. And so outside of lab, I enjoy finding new recipes to cook, whether it's something savory or not, or like something sweet. I've also um, picked up on riding my bike. Um, and then one of my housemates has a, has a dog. So I really love spending time with her. And um, yeah, I look forward to meeting you all. Hello, everyone. My name is Ali Darwish. Um, I was born and raised in Beirut and I was born in Beirut and I was raised in Dearborn, Michigan. Um, I graduated from the University of Michigan recently with a degree in interdisciplinary chemistry and comparative studies. Um, some of my interests include uh, playing chess, soccer, MMA. Um, I enjoy mentoring students, that's why I'm here. Uh, talking about religion and theology, working out. Um, if any of those interests align, I'm happy to play a game of chess or soccer or any of those other activities. I look forward to working with you. Hello everyone, I'm Hayat. I'm from Dearborn, Michigan, but I'm currently an undergraduate student at U of M in the School of LSA. I'm majoring in biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience, and I'm also on the pre-med route. But outside of all of that, some of my interests and hobbies include reading, mostly fiction, um, traveling, and watching new movies and TV shows. And I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Phillips. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I'm an alumnus of the illustrious North Carolina a State University. I'm a part of the COVID class of 2020, and I graduated with my Bachelor of Science in Biology. I'm currently spending my gap year conducting research at the National Institute of Health, uh, Environmental Health Science Campus in Research Triangle Park, and I'll be attending the Brody School of Medicine at East Carolina University this fall. My hobbies include uh, 35 millimeter film photography, skateboarding, and reading. And I can't wait to interact with you guys. Hey y'all, I'm Jakara Terry. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. So unfortunately not the fun parts. Um, I graduated from the University of Michigan pretty recently like some of the other mentors. Um, and I'm going to Columbia University's post -bac program this fall, um, just because I didn't wanna go straight through to med school, honestly. Uh, some of my research, some of my interests center around research, um, a, like centering marginalized people and their health and life outcomes, mental health equity, community service, and reading. And then there are just some things that I enjoy, like meme reaction pics, slushies, space, and museums. So if you guys are interested in any of those, feel free to send me slushy recipes or like your favorite space facts. I love to hear them. So yeah, I'm excited to work with y'all. Hey everybody, I'm Jamaica um, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Um, I graduated from U of M last year, last August, and I majored in gender and health and I was on the pre-med track as well. Um, this fall, I'll be attending Wayne State University to complete a master in science program. And 
I enjoy traveling, reading, watching random movies on Netflix, um, shopping, and volunteer community work. And I'm so excited to meet you all um, in the upcoming weeks. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm Leonard. And I'm one of the mentors. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I recently graduated from University of Michigan this year with a major in biology, health, and society. Um, I'm currently applying to dental school, and some of my interests are cooking, nature, um, video games, and um, you know, I virtually try any food. I really like trying new stuff, new food. Yeah. Um, she's from Detroit, and she's currently, oh no, she graduated from the University of Michigan with a Bachelor of Arts in English. Um, she's currently at Columbia University pursuing a master's in narrative medicine, and she's a rising M1 at Boonshoff School of Medicine. Um, some of her hobbies and interests are women's health, health literacy, movies, Netflix, concerts, music festival, and she's a J. Cole enthusiast. Hello everyone, my name is Alyssa Merritt. I'm from Southfield, Michigan. I'm a rising senior at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor, class of 2022, and I'm currently majoring in psychology. Um, I have plans of going to graduate school and becoming a child psychologist, and some interests I have are watching TV series, old and new, dancing and singing, and a fun fact about myself is my favorite type of food is Mexican. Hi everyone, my name is Gabrielle Adams. I'm from South Lyon, Michigan, and I'm a rising senior at U of M. Um, I'm majoring in biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience, and minoring in sociology of health and medicine on the pre-law track. And my interests are baking and drawing. I love making monthly Spotify playlists. Um, and my interests are in health and medical malpractice law. And I really love true crime podcasts. So if any of you are interested in those, feel free to send me them. Um, and if you want recommendations, I have many as well. Um, and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you this summer. Hi guys, my name is Amy and I'm from McDonough, Georgia. I'm a rising senior at the University of Michigan studying biopsychology, cognition and neuroscience as well with a minor in sociology of health and medicine. Some of my interests are mentoring, public health, playing violin, reading, and watching anime and K-drama. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. And I look forward to working with you guys this summer. Hello, everyone. My name is Zainab Bashrush. I'm from Dearborn, Michigan. I'm a rising junior at the University of Michigan. I'm majoring in biomedical engineering, and I'm planning on going to medical school after I finish my undergrad. Some of my interests include interior design, movies, volleyball, and traveling. So if you guys ever want to play volleyball, let me know. I literally like love it. It's my favorite sport. Um, and I look forward to meeting you all. Hey, everyone. My name is Abdullah Shakir. I'm from Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, I'm a rising junior at the University of Michigan. Uh, I'm currently majoring in biology, health, and science, BHS, or I'm actually doing, kind of doing two at the same time. I'm not really sure which one to choose between BHS and BCM, uh, which is biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience. Um, and my academic interests are civic engagement, behavioral science, uh, social science research. Uh, I participate in cancer funded charities. And my personal interests are like, you know, I like to play long games of chess. Uh, I like to listen to music all the time. Uh, I play lots of tennis and I like to travel whenever I can. Um, can't wait to see you guys. Hi everyone, my name is Mira Maloko. I was born in Nigeria, but now I live in Roswell, Michigan. I just recently graduated from the University of Michigan this May. I majored in biology, health and society, and I minored in Japanese. I am currently taking two gap years, so I'm applying to medical school next year. And during the meantime, I'm trying to get a lot of more clinical experience. My interests are health, science, medicine, patient care, tutoring, and volunteering. My hobbies include singing, drawing, binge watching anime, cooking, stress baking, and discovering new music from all around the world. And I love jollof rice, Reese's peanut butter cups, and snow leopards. And I look forward to seeing you all this summer. Hi everyone, um, my name is Ariel. Um, I'm from Bubble, Michigan. 
um, graduating this fall in 2021 with BCNS major. I currently work as a phlebotomist specialist at Michigan Medicine. I've been doing it for roughly three years. So if you need your blood drawn, just let me know. Um, my interests include yoga, working out, reading, and meditation. And I look forward to having a great summer with you guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Neha. I'm originally from Rochester Hills, Michigan, and I graduated from the University of Michigan in 2019 with a degree in chemical engineering and a minor in biochemistry. Um, I've actually done quite a few different programs at the OHA office. So I was an MSHRA participant in 2017, which is a research program, and I was also a student leader last summer um, for this program. So clearly I liked it. Glad to be back. Um, I currently work in life sciences consulting, and I will be applying to graduate school this fall, and my interests include drawing, reading, and of course, spending time with family and friends, and I'm very excited to be working with you all this summer. Hi, everyone. I'm Chichi Amanze, and I'm from West Bloomfield, Michigan. Um, I'm a rising sophomore at the University of Michigan, planning to major in either neuroscience or NCDB in the Honors College. Um, I'm also a research assistant for type 1 diabetes, um, and during my free time, I love to stay active and work out, play the violin, tutor, and try new recipes for cooking and baking, and I'm really excited to be working with you all this summer. So my name is Elias, and I'm from Chicago. I graduated from uh, University of Michigan this May with a public health science degree. I'm an undergraduate researcher in the bioinformatics department, and I'm going to be starting the job in management consulting in the fall before I apply to medical school. And my interests include reading Bible, my Bible and historical books uh, and playing chess and video games to take my mind off work. Hi, friends. Uh, my name is Gabrielle. I'm from Farmington Hills, Michigan. Um, I recently graduated from the University of Michigan with dual degrees in biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience, and cello performance. Um, I really love researching music cognition and perception, and will be getting a master's in science in music, mind, and brain in the fall at Goldsmiths University of London. Um, my interests include baking, watching a million cartoons, and also taking long walks and hikes. Excited to work with you guys this summer. Hey everyone, my name is Sydney Barrett. I'm from Rochester, New York. I just graduated from Xavier University of Louisiana in May. I was a biology major um, in a chem and Spanish minor. Um, next month, I'll be starting medical school. Some of my interests include music, sports, and an interesting fact about me is that I participated in the 2019 Undergraduate Research Academy program at UMich, and you can see the picture in the right-hand corner down below. Hi everyone, my name is Peggy. Um, I just graduated from the University of Michigan with a bachelor's of science in microbiology and I'll be working as a research assistant at the NIH in the fall. My interests are in art mostly and in civic engagement, mostly with record expungement and criminal justice. And I'm currently watching Katie's season of The Bachelorette. So I'm excited to talk to you about that and everything else. So just to cover a few of the program's objectives, you know, we want to prepare, you know, students for college success, um, as well as um, SAT prep to increase student test scores, plan to help prepare and encourage students for their transition to post-secondary education, and students will be attending workshops on health disparities, health equity, be introduced to research and academic wellness. At the, so here at the Office for Health Equity and Inclusion, you know, health equity, inclusion, and diversity are top strategic priorities for Michigan medicine. And so at OHE, we lead efforts to advise and coordinate initiatives to enhance inclusion, increase diversity, and promote equity across the institution for our patients, staff, faculty, and learners. We also seek to eradicate disparities from our healthcare system at every point in patient care education and employment. All students have talent and are able to support our mission and each and every one of you is a great investment. 
Um, and so just to speak on, you know, health disparities as this is something that, you know, the office is often focusing on, um, you know, so there are gaps in quality of health and health care that mirror differences in socioeconomic status, racial and ethnic background and education level. Some of the, these may stem from many factors, including accessibility of health care, increased risk of disease from occupational exposure, ethnic or familial factors. The Office for Health, Equity and Inclusion develops mechanisms for inclusion, diversity, and cultural sensitivity among faculty, students, and staff at Michigan Medicine. Um, so I'll go through some of the program elements that you all should be expecting during your time with us. Um, this is our second year being virtual, so this is a virtual experience, um, and there will be some discussions and virtual labs for you all um, this summer. There'll be opportunities for um, interacting with organisms and dissecting on a virtual level since we're not in person with you all this year. And then we'll also have professors and health professionals um, come in and invest in your learning so that you can have this experience to prepare you for whatever health career track that um, you all are interested in. Um, first priority, we want this to be fun for you. We know this is the summertime, we're with you for a little bit, but the goal of this is to be fun, to be creative with you all, for you to um, foster new community and new networks with each other. Um, so there will be some work and then we'll have some time to play and have fun. Um, a lot of the things we'll be doing will be social discussions and that will be on Zoom and on Canvas. And then you'll have an opportunity to work on some video projects with your mentors um, and your other fellow scholars for the summer. And then again, this is also important. We want you all to be friends. This is a new community for you, a new network for you. Um, so we hope that you all take friendships that will last a lifetime and into medical school or graduate school, whatever you decide to do and keep those connections with not only us as your mentors, but your fellow scholars. So we also wanna go over some rules and expectations that we're gonna have this summer. So we do wanna let you know, we have a zero tolerance policy for any misconduct and it will not be tolerated. Um, all students will be under continuous adult supervision throughout the entire program. Um, we also ask that cell phones are not used during class and lab activities so that we're giving our full attention to everyone that's taken time to give you this experience this summer. Um, if you need to remove yourself from the program for any reason, you will also not be able to return. So make sure that you communicate any changes with us during the summer. Um, we also ask that students are present and on time for all the workshops and activities we have on Zoom and that any work we ask you to complete or anything we ask you to submit to us on Canvas is also turned in on time. And we also ask that students always actively participate in any of the workshop and activities so they can get the full experience. So we also want to make sure that students are treating staff with respect and also each other with respect and dignity. We want to make sure it's a pleasant environment for everyone. So that's very important. And we also ask students to make sure they listen to any instructions from the staff. Um, there, even though it is a virtual environment, we want to make sure we're responsible for their safety. And we know we can only really usually see people from about the shoulders up, but we do still ask that you wear clothing that is appropriate. Um, so we also wanted to touch on social media and bullying. We really want you all to interact with each other, but we also want to be careful about how we're interacting. So we ask students to be careful and respectful and responsible for their use of social media. Um, a student's right to make a statement does not mean that state that speech has no consequences in terms of impact on others. Judges made about the speaker by third parties or the impact on future employers. If you are caught or seen actively bullying during the program or on social media, you will be dismissed from the program. We have no tolerance for any bullying. We wanna make sure it's a positive environment for everyone involved. So here are some emergency contact numbers if anything happens this summer. We have our office number, Dr. Lucas's number, Dr. Pryor's number, and also Sierra. You can contact her anytime with any problems. And now we have time for any questions, comments, or concerns. 
we're really excited to spend the summer with you all and this is your chance to ask any questions you might have of us.